Hey guys, welcome to another crochet video tutorial. I'm Heidi Gusted, and today I'm going to show you how to work corner to corner crochet patterns. To work a corner to corner crochet project, you're going to want to start with six chains on your hook, which I've done already. So what we're going to do is double crochet starting in the fourth chain from the hook. So one, two, three, and four. So we're going to double crochet in this space and then two times more to form our first square. So there's one, there's two, and three. And now we've got our first little square. So if you look at this piece, this square is roughly the square that's down here in the corner. Next, we're going to chain six and turn. Six and turn. And what's cool about these corner to corner patterns is once you memorize the concept, as with many things like granny squares and crochet, once you get the basic increase and decrease concept, the possibilities are endless with corner to corner crochet. So we've got chain six, and just like before, we're going to work three double crochets starting in the fourth chain from the hook. So skip one, two, three, and then work three doubles. There's the first one. The second one. And one last one. Right there. All right, and so since we're increasing from the first corner, what we're going to do next, we've got these two squares side by side connected right here. We're going to close them kind of like, you know those clappers in movies? Think of that when you think of closing this, like action. And now we're going to do one more square working in this chain space we created at the very beginning of our piece. So what we're going to do is slip stitch into this chain space like this, chain three to get up to the height of a new square, and then double crochet three times in that same space. So there's one, two, and three. And now our growing corner to corner project looks a little bit like a heart, something like that. And now what we're going to do is increase one more time so you can see the concept of, with a couple more repeats. So we're going to chain six and turn. And then starting in the fourth chain from the hook, we'll double crochet three times. So we're yarning over, one, two, three, there's the fourth. We'll double crochet once. twice, and a third time in this last little corner chain right here. And now, just like before, remember the movie clapper? We're going to close that like the movie clapper, finding the next chain space, and we'll slip to lock this corner in place. Now we'll chain three and double crochet. Three, so we'll chain three and we'll double crochet three times in that same space. I think you're beginning to see how easy and relaxing it can be to work these kinds of patterns because it's such an easy repeat to memorize. And there's our third double crochet. And since we're on an increase, we need to do one more slip stitch and chain three. 
ending this row with the last three double crochets in that same space. One, two, and three. Right there. Now that's the basics of increasing for a corner to corner crochet pattern. So if we look at our swatch, the orange on the left is what is the same as the green on the right. But instead of doing this fourth orange row from the swatch, I'm gonna just start decreasing just for simplicity and demonstration's sake. So now when we switch to decreasing, we will not begin by chaining six stitches like before. Instead, we're gonna turn our work and slip stitch across the three chains at the beginning of our row. And this brings our working loop to the next, the next niche or next notch that we want to work in without creating an additional square. Because if you don't start decreasing, your work will just keep getting bigger and bigger and bigger without becoming that square shape. You could, you could very easily create a shawl by simply doing the increases or starting wide and just doing the decreases, but I think it's important to know both ways to do it if you're just in the basics of learning how to do corner to corner crochet. So now that we've turned our work, we're gonna start working a decrease. To get our working loop to the notch where we need to create our next square, we're gonna slip stitch in the three ends of this first square so that we can get the working yarn where it needs to be without making our project bigger than necessary. Like so. And now we're back to that working opening, which just like every time we've run into it, will be started with a slip stitch and a chain three. Then we'll double crochet three times in the same space. And you can probably guess how the rest of this row goes. Because, spoiler alert, it's the same as when we worked across the increase rows. It's just started and ended a little differently. So there's one, two, three, slip stitch, chain three, and then three double crochets. There's the third, and to finish this row, we'll slip to join in that chain space without continuing on to that other corner. Now we'll turn our work, and once again, we'll slip across these three stitches. We'll slip across these three stitches. And now we just need to create one final square and to no one's surprise, it's constructed the same way as the other squares. So we we'll flipped and we'll chain three and do three final double crochets to fill out this notch and complete our corner to corner piece. And now the very last stitch to form our square is a slip stitch. From here, you'll break your yarn off and weave in ends. And looking at our swatch over here, you can see what changing colors and using different color combinations looks like. Now, if you take this concept and start to think a little bit bigger, you can think about the design possibilities of working with pixels, kind of like you would on a computer screen. So you can do things like make um, a face or an emoji or a heart or geometric patterns and corner to crochet really offers endless possibilities and is completely meditative to do. Corner to corner crochet patterns are really popular these days, so I hope you found this tutorial useful. If you have any questions for us, leave a comment and tune in again soon for even more crochet tutorial videos.